Hello everyone, it's Morder and I'm with Graham Bubblefish for a nice co-cast. Hello Graham. Hello Mo, thank you for having me. <laughs> it's a pleasure Graham. I will uh, start commenting my build. It's a bit messy but it's not really a problem. So I have uh, a front line, I know you, can really <laughs> you can't really see it as a front line but it's my front line of um, Colossian Nobles. I have a second line of uh, uh, hillmen and I have uh, three peltasts uh, in the back to ensure I'm not getting killed by uh, the chariots but we'll see how this goes and I have also some cavalry I have uh, five shitten uh, cavalry which I took because I didn't really need uh, noble blood against Seleucids because uh, I knew Seleucids were was not bringing any really good cav uh, that would uh, justify the fact that I needed to bring noble blood to kill it so citizen will do the job, the job perfectly so that's my build a really uh, simple and effective build I believe but it's it is really simple so l let's go to, to your build Graham how's your build all right, I have a front line. I have two shield bearers on either flank uh, and three thorax swordsmen in the middle. And then I have another shield bearer sort of in the second line uh, on the right flank as well. I'm hoping to overload that flank um, and get some serious damage going on there. Yeah, I indeed. also have a, a proper second line of hillmen, um, yeah. five of them. And then on either flank, I have as well uh, a Thuria spear. Um, I was thinking you would bring horse arches, but it turned out you didn't. Um, so they're just going to support the main line, get some shots where they can. Yeah, it's, a, it's, and, a, uh, it's a nice flanking unit, really. Thuria spears. Yeah. Especially since I don't really have flanking units, so they will do good, I believe. And then yeah. the camels. The camels. They, they're they called medium melee cavalry, but they're camels, so they're more like heavy. Indeed. Um, they have big mass and... That changed, by the way. Uh, they changed uh, with uh, Empire Div Divided. Before they were called uh, light melee cavalry. So I think it changed really. Yeah, yeah, that could be. I'm not sure. But, um, well, they're not medium either. They're, yeah, sure, they're just heavy. I know they're heavy. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I know. Just for the viewers, you know. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, anyway, uh, and then the main units in my army. Um, I like the playing chariot. with chariots. Yeah, man. The so chariots. what I'm trying try to do is try and isolate parts of your army, um, tie down your peltas, and then run my chariots through. That's yeah. the plan. For um, max of uh, damage. Oh, okay. and also I have two eastern slingers. Ah yes, two, um, we have two slingers. Just, just if you brought any long range skirmishes to tie them down, um, or keep them busy at least. Yeah. Um, but at the start, I'm going to, as you'll see, uh, fire at some hillmen because they have low armor and they don't really have any other good targets. Yes. Yes, you could try to sneak uh, some shots into cavalry, but that's it, really. Or just yeah. use them for late game, but you don't really need to. to um, in that in that uh, situation against my build, you don't really need the slingers. But le let's jump to, to the battle. Let's start. Three, two, one. Let's go. So I'm finally positioning myself. You, you can see I'm not in a hurry. I noticed two um, Eastern Slingers won't really uh, hurt me a lot because it's it's on Hillman, so I'm not caring. And I'm slowly marching, and here's here comes the rush. Here. Yeah, it's a slow rush. <laughs> I'm still working. <laughs> no, no, it's the engagements. And you, you are really going for a, a left, uh, yes, a left flank yellow for me. So you, you, 
were you really thinking of okay i have two shield bears i need to um, to yolo to max their effects to make sure you you want that uh, right flank of yours yeah that was the idea yeah uh, but i actually screwed up um i got one disruption charge but uh i didn't follow up quickly enough i think across the main line you got the better charges yes i did uh, but i totally did and now I'm following up with Hillman. I'm not sure it is a good idea because you see, now the Hillman are connected directly follows the chariots. And I am a bit slow to react with Peltas, so the chariot is going to have a free charge there. Just a quick, um, a quick bump and uh, you can see my two units are already red morale. So that was a nice move by you and a bad move by me. And there... Ah... Uh, Hillman catching my uh, Kulshan Nobles without charge, that's also a uh, micro mistakes. But it's okay. The main line, and main line is uh, pretty much uh, in my favor at the moment. So right now I'm pretty happy. But there is that chariots there coming. Yeah, I actually pulled through some uh, Thorax swords onto your Peltas in order yeah, to tie them down. Uh, Demolish them, but you did a really nice follow up with your citizen tying them down again and getting the peltas out and effectively wasted my thorax. Was a bit risky, but if it had worked, it would have been uh, really good. Yes, but still, there you, you got a bit lucky because I, I shot a few times about uh, at your uh, sighted charts, but it didn't really do anything. And you're reinforcing there the your, your left flank. You are bringing bringing those cavalry and those chariots to to the left flank now. And I'm I'm a bit slow to react. And I see you're aiming for uh, for my right flank with the chariots and with the camels. So I bring uh, some quick reinforcements. And just as I do that, you go away. <laughs> so I was a bit frustrated there. Yeah. And you got that nice uh, isolated Colchian Noble that was uh, not even in Phalanx, so it's the perfect target for your chariots. And I see this and I put it I put it in, in Phalanx, but it's a bit too late. It's really a matter of, uh, of quick micro there. And I see you, you committed all your cavalry uh, for that quick... Uh, uh, chariot rush, so I want to sneak my general uh, to kill your slingers while the chariot is uh, getting back. So I saw it as a nice opportunity to to make a, to deal some quick damage to your uh, to your rear there. But what were you plan when you retreated that chariot? Did you did you see any good opportunity on the other side, or did you think that my right flank was too dangerous for you? What was your idea? Yeah. Yeah, um, you had those two Peltas over there, and uh, your general and some cavalry, and I really didn't want to get my chariots tied up in a cavalry fight. Yeah. So I saw, saw some um, isolated units on the right side with only one Peltas protecting them. So I yes. thought I could uh, maybe get a charge over there, but it turned out my units were winning that much that um, it wasn't so really was necessary. Yeah. And there you, I didn't really saw it, but there was a two earth spears in that uh, cavalry fight, and it really uh, turned it totally in your favor. So I'm losing two two citizens uh, to one camel, and that's a really big trade off for me. So your your uh, right flank is really is was a really good move uh, by that ca uh, that camel yellow and then the, the follow up by two um, shield bearers it, it totally got me and now no my left flank is totally dead but uh, on the right flank i i was able to uh, to win the fight despite uh, that one quick chariot charge i was still able to able to win it <laughs> And also on your right flank, one Thuria Spear is now bravely holding out, almost going down. It's yeah. been there for the entire battle uh, and kept two Korkian nobles busy, so I'm really proud yes. of it. 
Good job, guys. <laughs> yeah, totally. And the other, those two spears were really the, the, the MVP of this battle because look at that. That one on my left flank is already at 67 uh, and it's cavalry kill, so it's he has already one chevron and the other one is holding back my uh, my two Colchian nobles, so it both both of them really did a great job. Another jab volley to the chariots, another time it misses. And at this point I'm really running low on infantry to, to block your um, your shield bearers and your uh, Thorax Swordsman, so it's getting really hard for me. And I still have to be really careful for those chariots that are still at full strength. So I'm really... At this point I'm really I'm really panicking. I, I know a single mistake will cost me the battle I, and that I will need to play really well in order to win. But you can see the chariots go through and uh, and I could not shoot them quickly enough. They lose a man to friendly fire, and now I I will start to shoot at them with both peltas. So I think I will manage to kill some, but they will do a hor horrendous damage uh, to me right now. The, the peltas weren't so effective at dealing with them. They are keeping shooting. They shoot. They shoot. They shoot. But they. Couldn't really kill a, a lot of them. As yeah. you can see, the most most of the shots misses. So it's this gives just... my time to uh, do their work because I had this uh, shield bearer general, yeah. and because I'm just keeping so many units occupied just with a chariot. Um, well, just with a chariot. Yeah. Of course, it's a very dangerous unit, but it it gives me space to uh, take the engagements that I want yes. uh, with my infantry. Yes, and, and you did really well. You did it really well because um, there's nothing I could do at, about it because of my lack of javelin. Because all my hillmen died really quick, so I had no precursor javelin. And that was really a hard, uh, hard time for me because uh, my peltas kept on missing, missing and missing. and. Um, and you had the, the better infantry and the chariots, so I only had cavalry to red myself. But uh, it was not enough, even though my general, my general has a lot of kills. It, it won't save me there. You can see I only have Peltast remaining, so at this point I have lost, because I know my my 18 men general won't, won't save the day for me. Yeah. I think what really cost it for you was um, the cavalry on both flanks. Um, I got an engagement that I wanted. Yes. Um, yes, my the flank I caught the citizen just with a camel, and the other thing with the thuraeus. It's a good battle, though. Yes, it was a good battle. I did a few mis micro mistakes, so I think that costed me the battle. Like you told the. The cavalry micro mistakes are really... I shouldn't make those. But it was a nice battle. So GG to you. And uh, let, let's you. comment uh, the, the end battle screen. So what do we have? Yeah, you can... My Hillman did way better than your Hillman. Yeah, sure. Sure, you can see yes. And my Peltas didn't do shit. Um, nope. Yes, you are. You have enough chevrons on your helmet. That's uh, <laughs> that's impressive. I have no idea what they did, but they did it well. That's for sure. <laughs> and some yeah, of my cavalry did. Some of my cavalry <laughs> did really well, but the others didn't because they got killed by uh, that one two arrows with 100, 142 kills. That's yeah. impressive. I think it's yeah. the first time as I saw a Taurus with so many kills. And some your Torax didn't do that much except except for that one uh, with 181 kills that really did really good. But the two orders really were killed easily by my uh, Colchian nobles. Yeah, they did worse than I expected. Yeah. And then there there's the chariots, huh? 
that did the uh, 270 kills, which is really good, but I think the main role of those chariots in this battle wasn't really pure kills, but it was also um, the morale effect and uh, the fact that I had to move I had to move according to your chariot's move and I couldn't really focus on your on your infantry because of that. And that yeah. uh, really yeah. lost me the battle. Yeah, it's just one unit that I have control, but you yeah. have to keep all your cavalry and your peltas in mind and respond to where it goes. Yeah, I think you did it actually uh, quite well. Because I found it really hard to get the engagements that I wanted. And it was only until really late in the game that I really started to get kills. Yes. Um, yeah. But still, uh, I still lost because uh, I lost my cavalry. I lost my... Uh, so I lost my infantry. I lost my uh, hillmen. So I, I was in a bad spot. And you did really well of uh, ripping me off uh, all my tools one by one to finish off with that final uh, chariot charge. So GG and uh, thank you for this uh, nice co-cast, Graham. Yes, thank you. It's been a